Welcome back to another episode of Cereal Snob. General Mills sent me a box of Lucky Charms to commemorate their new promotion where you can win a box of all Marshmallow Lucky Charms yourself. They include just the Unicorn and Rainbow Marshmallows this time around, and uh, they also sent me this pink purse, um, and these two pendants, which I think is kind of weird because it, it just doesn't seem like uh, my style, but uh, maybe they follow my personal account, they know I do modeling, so... Uh Anyway, uh, there are a few ways you can enter this contest. One, you can find codes inside specially marked boxes of Lucky Charms at basically all your retailers right now. Um, or two, you can actually physically snail mail them a postcard requesting that you get a free code. Um, there's also a third way you can do it where you can go online and request yourself, but I did this myself and here's the email. Uh, it says basically that you can't do that until September when the contest is almost over. So I don't know if that's like a last resort when if they, if they have some left over, you can request codes or uh, not, but now you can't. So what I'm gonna do is enter my code right now and see if I win. It says click reveal to see if you've won. Check this out. Okay, so I didn't win. And actually this is the second time I've entered and I haven't won. And that's okay and probably expected. I'll find a way to get my own box of all Marshmallow Lucky Charms somehow. If General Mills would just send one to me. Uh, but what I'd like to do is figure out since you're getting a whole box of all Marshmallow Lucky Charms and that they're only the Unicorn and Rainbow Marshmallows, I figured out well, how many boxes of regular Lucky Charms would you have to buy in order to get literally an entire bag full of that. So um, let's go ahead and break this box down and see what we can do. Okay, so, as it turns out, uh, this is what it looks like when you deconstruct an entire box of Lucky Charms. Fits, fits into about a pint size. Uh, well, not one pint, it's a, it's a mason jar. I don't know how many ounces it is, but here it is. I did, I added the, the <laughs> oats on top just for dramatic effect, but the number breakdown is you have 36 hearts, 15 stars, 32 and a half horseshoes, 22 clover hats, 49 blue moons, which is a lot. You got 20 unicorns, 23 rainbows, and 54 red balloons. I thought it was crazy that the blue moons and the red balloon, or the blue moons and the red balloons were the highest there, but uh, interesting. So that's 251 marshmallows total if you do the math. The, and only 43 of them are the unicorn rainbow marshmallows. So that's about 17%. And based off of the previous video I did where I dissected four boxes of Lucky Charms, about 30% of each box looks to be Lucky Charms, the actual marshmallows themselves. So, um, it would take six boxes of Lucky Charms to equal just one full box of marshmallows because, wait a minute. Okay, so um, because math is hard, I had to come to my whiteboard and figure out exactly what it was by writing it out because uh, math is not easy to do in my head when it's this type of math. So the question is, how many boxes of Lucky Charms does it take to make one box of unicorn um, and rainbow marshmallows? Um, the facts we know are one box equals 30% marshmallows, 17% of, <coughs> excuse me, 17% of those marshmallows are the unicorn and rainbow marshmallows. So basically out of that 30%, 83% of them we just don't want, so they're trash, right? Not literally, but in this scenario. So we take 0.17 times 0.3, and X is the number of boxes we need to get one box of all Marshmallow Lucky Charms. So 0.17 times 0.3 equals 0.051. X equals one box. Um, to solve for X, we gotta isolate it, so we divide both sides by 0.051. Um, one divided by 0 0.051 equals 19.6 boxes. So holy cow, 19.6 boxes of Lucky Charms is what you're getting when you get a box of all Marshmallow Lucky Charms. And um, that is much more valuable this year. It, 
economically than it was uh, two years ago when I did this, and it was just a whole box of all marshmallows. Because when it's a whole box of all, all marshmallows, well, you know, a box is 30% marshmallows, so it takes 3.3 boxes in order to get one whole box of marshmallows. But now, because they've limited the marshmallows, they, they've specialized which ones they are, uh, it's more valuable to just get this new one. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's just look at this. It's pretty, it's cool, it's uh, not a math equation, and I didn't win, so hopefully you do. If you have one, let me know in the links below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.